Welcome back to It's Always Game Day in Cleveland as we come to you from the Greenbrier in West Virginia. The Browns uh, in the midst of their training camp. Next week, of course, is the, the Hall of Fame festivities. J.W. Johnson joining me uh, as a father of three kids. You, you, you joked earlier, they're knuckleheads. They're right. kids, right? Right. right? You got three boys there. I uh, saw you working them out with uh, Jimmy earlier uh, yes. this morning, yeah. uh, trying to, I guess, burn off some of it. We got some Browns prospects in the pipeline here or what? I don't know. They say they all love football. They love being around the team. I mean, what a great experience for them. I mean, we kind of joke like if I had had this experience when I was their age, I mean, it's, un it's unbelievable. So they all play football. They got rookie tackle going on. One of them's playing middle school football at the university school. So yeah, they, they love it. And I'm just glad they're out here putting in some work. What on earth do you do to kick back and relax? So I love to play golf. That's that's my release, you know, and I like to go fishing with my sons and, uh, you know, we play pickleball. We're, we're always doing something. So my downtime is if I can get out on the golf course, I will, or I'm always hanging out with them and, and, and obviously trying to spend time with my wife. So those are all the things that I kind of like to do. What's the best course you played on and the best round you've ever had? Oh, man. Well, I've played some real good ones. Obviously, you go up there, Pine Valley or Augusta National, probably two of the top top ones I've ever been As to. Ken and Anthony would say, congratulations on all your yeah, success. Yeah, Drop, so. Just slightly drops in the Augusta well, thing. it was a nice treat. I had a, I had a friend take me there, and so it, it was a blast. But uh, my lowest round, I shot a 69 at Pepper Pike one time. So that's that's about it. Again, congratulations <laughs> on your success. Uh, what's your go-to show to binge? Oh, man, go-to show to binge. Ah, you know, I really like Yellowstone, but I can't find it anymore. I know what's going on there. And then I started watching this other show on Apple called Silo, which was really interesting. Uh, but, but I, you know, I and quarterback, I just finished watching quarterback, which I thought was really outstanding, and actually sent Peyton a note and said, you know, gives you a real true perspective on how hard the quarterback position is. I don't think people realize how much goes into that position and how, you know, these guys get beat up and they got to take care of their bodies because if they're not out on the field, like, then the team could struggle. So uh, I think it's a great one. If you hadn't watched it, definitely check out Quarterback on Netflix. Just the episode where they're going through the plays. Oh, it's unbelievable. I, like, I needed an aspirin after that. Yeah, it yeah. Was, it was, uh... <laughs> okay, Succession or Billions? Better show. I was a big Billions fan. I like that. I kind of got into Session, and then, and then uh, unfortunately, I, I kind of lost it. But everyone says I probably need to get back into that one. And I saved the most controversial question of all time for last. <laughs> is a hot dog a sandwich? Ooh, is a hot dog a sandwich? As someone who helps out with the uh, the amenities at the stadium and your fans That's consume. It's hard to say because, you know, bread and, and, and meat, you know, but I think a sandwich to me is like you kind of, you're putting something on top of each other. Hot dog's kind of wrapped in that bun, so I won't say a hot dog's a hot dog. There you go. It's a, <laughs> it is a hot dog. It is not a sandwich. My thanks to J.W. Johnson right, for joining us on It's Always Game Day in Cleveland. Again, find us wherever you get your podcasts, Spotify, Apple, the Odyssey app. Also, you can find us on YouTube. Just search at 92.3 The Fan.